Gulliver's Travels Once, Gulliver and his friends decided to go on a voyage. Unfortunately, one night a violent storm wrecked their ship. All his friends on board drowned, except Gulliver. He swam for hours to reach the shore. He found himself on a new land. He looked around, but could not see anything except some small trees. Tired and exhausted, Gulliver soon fell into a deep sleep. When he woke up, the bright sun prevented him from seeing anything. He saw little men running all around him. One little man had got a tiny ladder and was climbing up to him. Gulliver rubbed his eyes in disbelief. The tiny man climbed up to him and said, You are in the land of Lilliput and we are the Lilliputians. We will now take you to the Emperor. A huge wooden structure with wheels was brought. The little men pushed Gulliver and managed to place him on the structure after much struggle. He was pulled through the streets of Lilliput. Many curious Lilliputians gathered on the streets to see the sight. Finally, they arrived at the Emperor's palace. The Emperor, in a warning tone. You are welcome in the land of Lilliput, if you promise not to harm my people. Are you ready to serve them? Gulliver agreed to the condition and requested the Emperor to get him untied. Gulliver was freed. He was generously provided with food and water and a house was built for him. Gulliver happily started living in Lilliput. One day, the neighboring kingdom of Blefescu declared war on Lilliput. The king of Blefescu sent 100 ships to attack Lilliput. The emperor of Lilliput. Gulliver, it is time for you to help the kingdom. Gulliver assured the emperor of helping the kingdom and started working on a strategy. He took a long rope, tied all enemy ships together and dragged them in the water. He kept them tied until the army of Blefuscu accepted their defeat. The king of Blefuscu pleaded for peace between the two kingdoms. The emperor of Lilliput agreed and even rewarded Gulliver for his help. Gulliver lived in Lilliput for many years. <laughs>